Breaking tonight, planned ice raids delayed in a tweet. President Donald Trump says he is putting off the raids for two weeks to give Democrats and Republicans a chance to come to what he calls a compromise. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live in Pilsen, where the move is not reassuring to many immigrants there. Jeremy? Hey, good afternoon, Jim. Yeah, not hearing any sighs of relief here, considering the news coming out of Washington, D.C. The pastor of the church behind us says that that is the only church here offering asylum to families, essentially the ability to stay there to avoid possible deportation. He talks about the president's posturing. This is a war on families of color and families especially from the Latino community. In a statement from the Cook County State's Attorney's Office, they say in part, quote, they are deeply concerned that the proposed immigration raids by the Trump administration will lead to further distrust between immigrant communities and law enforcement. These targeted and unfair policies are putting people at risk. ICE's escalating tactics directly impact victims and witnesses of crime, end quote. Alderman Carlos Romero Rosa adding, the two-week delay of planned immigration raids is a win for the tens of thousands of people that mobilized across our nation to defend our communities from ICE, including in Albany Park, but he adds community concerns continue, and even though the raids appear to be delayed, one pastor says he's not planning on it. Oh, we never believe anything that this, this particular president says. He's not, uh, doesn't have a lot of credibility with us, but uh, we know that what he says has stirred up a level of hatred. And defenders, supporters of the president of the United States saying that this is only making good on multiple campaign promises throughout the years. The pastor adding on average, he gets between three to four calls a week inquiring about asylum. He tells us between now and the next scheduled raid, he'll go to other churches in this area to see if they can provide asylum as well. Live in Pilsen, Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News, Jim. Jeremy, thank you.